Oh, yeah, well, uh, when I was in the Coast Guard in Hawaii, and we'd be off duty uh, at nighttime when we weren't diving. We'd just go into town just to hang out and have a few drinks. And on uh, Kalakaua Boulevard, downtown Hawaii, they had this big bar called Don the Beachcombers. It was a, a tourist place, but a place for the servicemen to hang out and stuff like that. And and the inside was real tropical. It had a, a thatched roof and tiki lights and palm trees and banana trees and ferns and things and really low dim lights. And they would uh, serve all kinds of exotic drinks and things like that. And they had these little round tables and they had a stage there and there was somebody performing there called Martin Denny and he would play this really exotic tropical music. And at the time, nobody really knew who, who he was. We didn't have a big name. He was kind of just getting started. But we'd just always get a table right up by the stage and get our Mai Tais. And all of him and all of his band members would have Hawaiian shirts on, really brightly colored, and there'd be live parrots up in the trees. They probably had their wings clipped so they couldn't fly. And we just sit there and drink Mai Tais, listen to Martin Denny all night long, and pick up girls and stuff like that, have a good time. <laughs> and how would you describe his music? Oh, really, really dynamic, exotic fusion with a lot of percussion. Uh, a lot of uh, gongs and uh, bamboo wind chimes, metal wind chimes, conga drums, a uh, little synthesizer, uh, very soft, mellow, low-key. Not, not really Hawaiian music. It wasn't supposed to be Hawaiian music, but it was just really e easy listening uh, music that you'd expect to find on the islands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other instruments in that band that you remember? Gosh, you know, I don't... I don't know what there was in that band. A lot of one of the guys was really good at bird calls, and he would do these exotic bird calls, you know, during the the music session, and it just made it sounded like you're out in the jungle, something like that. Yeah, soft rain rain sounds, and yeah, it was just really gentle music. Yeah, yeah. So, so at the time, you didn't feel like it was authentic Hawaiian music. But it seemed like music from any particular culture. Uh, no, just a blend of could be South Pacific music, anything tropical. You know, no, no, I wouldn't try to identify it with any one particular area. Just easy listening, gentle music, I would call it. Now, you used to have some Martin Denny on reel to reel tape. Did you get those at the shows or later or what? Um, actually, I, I bought some records, LP vinyl records when I was over there and then I uh, used to have a, a big Ampex 10-inch reel-to-reel tape and transferred them from the record to the tape mm -hmm. and yeah, stored them on there for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And then I think, uh, I, I don't know if Scott ended up with them or what happened to them. <laughs> I've, got, I've got Martin Denny reel-to-reels from you that were purchased because they've got the printed covers on them. Oh, really? Yeah, so somewhere along the line, you got commercial reel-to-reel -reel tapes. I don't even remember that. Okay. I don't remember that. 